Today, we chat with Kronos and learn how he achieved his own success on YouTube. And then we find out the three winners on today's $100,000 sponsorship, powered by Freedom. I'm your host, Tiffany, and you're watching Impulse. Thanks, Tiffany. What's going on, Freedom Family? My name is Aaron. In today's episode, we're going to dive deep into the minds of successful YouTubers and find out what they did along their journey to YouTube stardom. Today's successful YouTuber is AU Kronos. He's one of the biggest GTA 5 YouTubers. And we're going to find out right now how he started his success on YouTube. First question, Kronos, when did you upload your first video on YouTube? I started YouTube exactly on the 9th of May, 2012. So just about two and a half years ago. When did you realize you started succeeding on YouTube? Around about the June, July, August mark of 2013. It was when I started to actually get more involved with my videos, put a little more effort into them. Um, it was back in the Call of Duty days when I up uploaded Call of Duty videos. Uh, GTA 5 wasn't out and I started doing like live streams and I guess I had one viral live stream that got over a million views and that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of what sparked my success. And then I started uploading more Call of Duty Zombies videos and then as Black Ops 2 started to die out and when the hype for Ghosts came, that's when I transitioned to, G to GTA 5. And what I basically did was I said to myself, no matter how many videos that might fail in terms of views for GTA 5, I want GTA 5 to be a game defining thing for my channel and it paid off. I just kept uploading GTA 5 stuff and the transition was pretty, pretty good. What would you say to the Freedom Family that is one main ingredient to grow a successful channel? Consistency because I went for an entire week without uploading recently, which was last week, and I was barely, barely getting any views at all. It's because I was dealing with other things in life. But one of the things about me that has helped a lot is consistency, just uploading as many times as frequently as possible, making sure that the quality does not degrade from the videos as well. When was the moment you realized you found something completely unique and the viewers wanted more of it? Uh, November 2013. It was just after the release of GTA 5 and it was the best month I have ever had in you like in terms of this whole YouTube thing I got about 60,000 subscribers in that month and that told me that what I was doing was right because if there if that many people were subscribing liking and commenting and viewing my videos it means I was doing something right now before I continue with any more questions with Kronos let's take it back to Tiffany and see who the runners up are in today's $100,000 sponsorship powered by freedom valuable information Kronos I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who are gonna benefit I'm gonna benefit from hearing you talk because I love accents. And now, in no particular order, let's announce the two runners up in the $100,000 sponsorship picked by Heartbeat Chrome. As always, you get to choose from these amazing prizes brought to you by our partners with Freedom. If you want to learn more about the $100,000 sponsorship, clicky, clicky, clicky in the video in the sidebar uh, to learn the information, more information, information about it. Click it. Do it now. And now, let's go to Rick for the winners, because it's what he does, and I'm slowly learning to accept it. What? We're recording. It's, it's Rick. Hi, Rick! Hey, Tiffany, are you filming right now? Yeah! Why don't you do it? I, I can announce it? If you'd like to. Yeah, I'd love to! This is great! This is great! Yes! I LOL JK, Tiffany. You'll have to pry this microphone from my cold, dead hands. Anyway, our first runner-up is Blockmaster6101. He provided us with lots of great detailed tips ranging from not doing videos just for monetary gain, building a website or social platform for your audience, and effectively using GFX to build a brand. Our next runner-up is iBang. No, it's not a disturbing new product from Apple. iBang points out that creators should use their surroundings in their videos. Friends and family members can help you create videos for your channel and build stronger relationships in the process. Congratulations, Freedom Partners. Remember, you're still eligible to win, like in next week's episode. And now back to Aaron for the... Who am I kidding? Back to Kronos for the interview. Thanks, Tiffany, and congratulations to those Freedom Partners on a job well done. How did you differentiate yourself between other YouTubers to gain traction? Um, well, I'm Australian, 
And that's probably what helps a lot is my accent is different. My personality comes off as being different. I don't sound like, no offense, but I'm just saying like, because I'm Australian, because I'm different, like I sound different and I talk differently to others in which I present my videos. That's kind of what makes me unique just as a person. In terms of the content that I post, I don't just limit myself to one specific type of content within one specific type of game. Like I'm always, you know, able to upload whatever content I feel like, and I'm not scared to do that. And I guess if my viewers aren't bothered by that, then that kind of what makes me stand out a bit. Out of all things that happen on YouTube, what is your biggest accomplishment? My biggest accomplishment is probably reaching out and doing something that will have that has impacted more people than I could ever imagine in front of me in person in my entire life. Knowing that my content has gone around the entire world, has been viewed around the entire world from people from like countries like the United States, England, um, even Colombia and like that. It's just amazing. Like I never thought that my content would be viewed by so many people. Like that's probably one of the best things that has ever happened to this YouTube thing. Knowing that I can reach out to an unlimited amount of people that are willing to watch my videos. It's just amazing. Well, that was a ton of insightful information from Kronos to help you build your channel on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions on who you would like to see on this show, put them in the comments below and make sure to follow us on Twitter at Impulse This, into which we reveal our next YouTube celebrity. And then you could tweet us your question, which might get revealed on next week's episode. And now it's time to take you back to Tiffany for the moment you've all been waiting for, the grand prize winner of today's $100,000 sponsorship powered by Freedom. Thanks, Kronos. I, Aaron, thanks Aaron. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, let's see who's going to be taking home $250 in grand prizes. And of course, you get to choose from all these lovely products. Brought to you by our partners with Freedom. And back to Rick so he can do this announcement. Is it Rick? Yeah. No, I don't, I, I, I know what's happening here. And today's winner is Murgo LP. He encourages the Freedom family to find like-minded personalities that match their own while searching for a collaboration partner. You should always look for quality, not quantity. He was also incredibly active in the comments and explains the best way to find a talented YouTuber for collaboration is always in the quality of their videos. Congratulations, Murgo LP. You are the jam between my toes. Congratulations, Freedom Partners, on a job well done. Rick, you're a butt hat. Yeah, I said it, butt hat. What are you gonna do? Remember guys, share your knowledge, discuss today's topic, and interact with Freedom Partners down in the comments below. And you too could be rewarded for helping the community grow together like a family. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Impulse. And tomorrow, Mike goes over cheap filmmaking tips and tricks. Until next time, I'm your host, Tiffany, and I like Australians. Thanks, Tiffany. What's going on? My glasses are on. In this episode, we're going to show you Frick! So we're going to dive deeper into the hearts. It's not hearts! Okay, Doc. Thank you, Tiffany. I have the notes in my hand. Do not have the notes in the hands while recording. Okay, Doc. Thanks, Tiffany. What's going on, YouTube? Oh, frick me in the face.